Good morning, friends. Welcome. Welcome to Stampin' All Day with Bev. I am your hostess. I'm Beverly Morales. How are you? It is Wednesday. It is the 19th of June. It is almost 8.30, and 8.30 is when I start. I'm so glad that you get your notifications that you've decided to follow me. Hello, Lena. And that if you're on YouTube, that you've subscribed to my channel. I really appreciate it. I can't wait to show you this card today. I think it's absolutely stunning. I hope it shows up on camera. Um, they, I, I get told that, um, oh my gosh, the card is so much prettier in person. And that really, really bothers me because I really want you to see how gorgeous things are but you know if you win the card so if you comment like Lena just did um, then you're in a drawing to win this card and so I do that every single week and then you can see it in person or if you come to my classes or you live close you come to my open house then you can see them in person hey Florence so um, I've done a little mixing up with uh, my uh, well, I don't want to give it away too soon, but I've just mixed up a few things. So, um, using them together and showing you again how versatile everything is. If you've been stamping for a long time, you probably already know that. But if you haven't been, then um, if you're new, then I want to expand your horizons and let you know how much you can put different things together and how gorgeous everything becomes once you've just put a little spin on it. It is 8.30, so we're going to get started. Um, again, welcome to my channel, Stampin' All Day with Bev on Facebook Live. I'm live every Sunday at 7 p.m. Hi, Andrea, and Pacific Time. And then every Wednesday at 8.30 a.m. Pacific Time. So I kind of try to juggle my time a little bit, so it's good for everybody. I know Sunday nights are so late for my followers that are from the um, other time zones, and I really appreciate you being here. Um, some stampers, though, they're late night people like me. I'm an early bird, and I go to bed fairly early, 10 o'clock at night, but um, I'm up early today. I was up at 5, but I have a lot of things going on today, so I had to be get up at 5 and get everything done. Hey, Tracy. Um, we are going to, uh, I'm going to turn you down to my desk and show you my host code for June. So if you decide to uh, order with me, um, you'll have that host code, hey Stephanie, and um, show you my website address and my YouTube channel and my email and all those goody things, housekeeping. So let's do that now and then let's get right to the project. Let's turn you down first of all. And turn you around. There we go. And get you going the right direction. How about that? All right. Tighten you down so you don't spin around. Hey, Carol. All right. Again, welcome to Stampin' All Day with Bev. I am your host, Beverly Morales. I live in Tracy, California. And um, I have a host code for you for the month of June. Here it is right here, 3AQFDTK6. Where can you shop with me? Anytime you'd like, you can shop with me at beverlystamps.stampinup.net. My YouTube channel is Beverly Morales. If you would sprinkle that, sprinkle me, just means share, with your friends that do not have Facebook or would rather watch YouTube, that my channel is just my name with Stampin' Up! behind it. You're welcome, Carol. You are so welcome. Here is my email. It is mofun44 at icloud.com. Hi, Dottie. If you would like to um, speak with me about anything whatsoever, like recently I just had a, um, a phone call, actually, uh, to ask about becoming a demonstrator. But if you'd like to talk to me initially about anything, just email me and then we can we can connect. All right, we have a winner for the card that I made my last live using uh, spotlighting, 
spotlight on nature. Now I kept saying, because it was true at the time, that Spotlight and Nature Bundle will be back orderable um, on the 24th of this month. And now I read that it says July 1st. I am so sorry. Thank you, Carol and Tracy, for sprinkling. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That's how I grow and I really appreciate it. So let's see who won this beauty. Um, this card, I just added a loose insert so she could use this um, the Proverbs 3, 5 through 6, trust in the Lord with all your heart and he will direct your path. And it says, dear friend on the front, but hi, Yvette. But if the winner does not choose to use this, she can use it on another card and, and add a different layer piece in there and change it up for whatever she needs it for. Who is that winner? Arlene Traeger. Arlene is one of my YouTube followers. She already knows that she won. She responded by email. I have her address. This will be going out to her in a little bit. As soon as I'm done with my live, my mail hasn't been picked up yet, so I'll run this out there, and she will get this in a few days. Congratulations. Okay, so remember, just if you're watching but you haven't commented, all you have to do is say hi, and um, whatever else you want to say, and you're in a drawing to win the cards. All right, we are going to the Mediterranean Blooms Sweet Collection here on page 35 of the annual catalog. I have a class on the 28th, which is next Friday at 10 a.m. with um, some gals, I think there's eight of them, who chose this uh, suite, actually the bundle, as um, the items they wanted me to create their three projects with. So at my class, they're gonna make three different projects. I cannot show them to you yet because they like to be surprised, but I will tell you that at my, cl my in-person classes, if you attend, you get a handmade, usually handmade gift from me, or if it's not completely made by me, it's, in, it's something that's been embellished by me. You get your three projects and you've already ordered your suite to come, so you have that to create all the things that I show you with, how to make that day. Plus you get a PDF. Hi Vera, hi, welcome. And so you can make, you can either, um, you can make these again following the PDF. But for you that aren't coming, hey, my friend Jean, um, who cannot attend this time, uh, I will show you the samples later so you can see. They are beautiful. Now, this group of ladies are what we call, um, oh, what, what's, the, what's the word? I forget the word right now. But creativity your way in the catalog is for this level of a stamper. They have all the products that they need. They've been collecting for quite a while and they have their little area where they stamp. So I always try to make this group um, one card that's, hi Patty, that's not, um, that's simple. It's, it's simple but yet still elegant or beautiful. And then I try to make two others that are a little bit more intense without giving them a headache or causing them any stress because I want all my classes to be fun. But I'm using the a Mediterranean um, Suite, Bloom's Suite, so I thought I would start sharing other ideas with that suite with you now, and then the girls that come to class can have these ideas as well. So let's see what we're using. Of course, we're using the Mediterranean Bloom's Stamp Set, and I believe I stamped all the love um, on the inside of my card. Hey, welcome, Becky. Thank you for sharing, Becky. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I'm, I'm using the dies in the set. This is really the focal point of this card. It's this die here, and then it's cut out with the frame that goes around it. Yes, it's a beautiful set. I agree, um, Becky. She says it's a cute set. I agree. And then on Sunday, I'm going to use a couple of more of the dyes. I've already created my sample. I'm going to use the leaves and the blooms, but we'll get there on Sunday when I show you that. Okay, so here, I already took out my stamps and my dyes, so I can put this back. 
Oh gosh, I am. I knew I would be, but I am totally, totally over the moon about this gold and silver trim combo pack. Item 161633 in the annual catalog. Here is the gold. I'm going to be using that today. We're using the beautiful color Highland Heather because I know that this, this um, set is geared towards lemons, oranges, citrus, that type of thing. But like I said, I changed it up. So we're using some Highland Heather. Hey, notice my nails, ladies. Hi, Diane. Can you believe it? I can't believe it. I had no idea. I had no idea that I used to bite my nails so bad. I knew I had short nails, but I didn't realize um, that I was stressed out in, at some times and uh, biting my nails, and now they're growing. I am shocked, so I actually put polish on them. How about that? If they get in my way with my crafting, though, they're going to have to get cut off because I, crafting is um, something that I do almost every day, and so... That cannot disturb that. But I was just, I looked at my hands right now. I'm like, oh, I have nails. <laughs> okay, have you seen this beautiful embossing folder? It's called Layered Florals. Oh, my Lanta, it is beautiful. Look at all these flowers. Thank you, Patty. Oh, my goodness, such a gorgeous background. I'm going to be using this folder today. And at the end, I will give you a list of all these um, numbers in case you decide to order. But this one's 162935. I'm going to be using basic white cardstock for my card. And since I have it in my hands, I will just fold this right now and talk about the uh, essentials you need for stamping. This is a bone folder. It's 102300. One, and you need that to burnish your cards and make your beautiful seam. I'm going to also wing it back, something I teach all my customers so they get this nice seam here. Your favorite folder, Tracy. Oh, I can see why. Okay, there's my card. Um, I'm going to use the Old Olive Reinker, and that is item num number 100531. And I'm going to use a sponge brush brush instead of my daubers and you'll see why when I get there. Here's my two stamps that I'm using for the inside of my card. It's all the love and I just love that. And you can mask out all the and just use love and then this decorative little diamond shape here. I'm gonna use those as well. Welcome Donna. Thank you for coming. I'm gonna use some scrap paper um, in a bit to protect my grid paper. And look at what Lori did for me at work the other day. She cut up two boxes of uh, layer size, four by five and a quarter cardstock for me. I have two full boxes of these. And Lori, when you watch the replay, I'm going to tell you what a godsend this is. It just speeds up my work so much. Thank you, Lori, for doing that for me. Okay. So here's my two layer pieces, one for the inside of the card and one for the outside of the card. Are you ready to see the card? Oh, okay, let's look, let's look. Look at this card, you guys. Oh my gosh, and if I had smell-o-vision, you could smell the lavender. This is real lavender. You know how I've been pressing flowers this is real lavender. Now there's a set, a stamp set, if you don't have lavender, but I'll tell you what, I went and bought, where can I get the containers? Let me see, where can, where can I get the container for your, your cards to keep? Are we talking about these boxes? Um, we have the small ones for sure in the catalog, the thinner ones like this, but I have to look in the catalog, so I'll get back to you with that. And um, these are the stamp cases. I'll get back to you with that because I don't know the page number off the top of my head. Okay, thank you for asking such a good question. I see wow, I see yes, I see how beautiful. Oh, good, Vera, Jean, and Donna. Thank you. Um, so um, you can use the stamp set that creates lavender that looks really real, but I've been pressing flowers 
And my dear friend, Reiko, she um, has a lavender plant in her front yard, and she was telling me about it. And her, her husband, who's a doll, he cut some for, for me and brought it over, and I pressed it. So here's my little container of pressed lavender that I have left. And um, then I went to Home Depot, and I bought two lavender plants. They take full sun, and just I just water them a little bit every day, and then you'll ha and they grow big. So you'll have all these flowers that you can just press in books if you don't have a, a press. But you can get a press on Amazon. They're not very expensive. Well, I don't. I shouldn't say that. I don't know <clears throat> what it costs. My daughter bought me one for my birthday. But this is the card, and it is um, just. It can be framed. I, I'm thinking about doing almost the same thing if I can find a frame the right size using these dies here and um, our inks and our Stampin' Up! products. Look at this ribbon. I know that's using quite a bit of ribbon, but quite a bit of ribbon is on this spool and you get both gold and silver, so you could do either color. Um, to see what you're anxious to see what I make. Well, I haven't even started because I've been yapping Bev about about this card and lavender. And this card, the aroma is just amazing. I love it. I just want to fan myself with it so I can smell the lavender all the time. You've been growing lavender for years. They are so pretty and they smell wonderful. Yes, when the breeze um, grabs the plant, just fabulous. Okay, so where shall we start? Let's start with our folder and using our cut and boss machine so we can get that part out of the way. And I have kind of a, I don't know if it's a new technique to you or not, but it is to me to show you with a die in a second. So what I'm doing is I'm lining up that four by five and a half piece of cardstock in my folder. Um, the folders say Stampin' Up! on the front, and they have a black line that runs right through the, the word Stampin' Up! Wow card for sure. Oh, a wow card for sure. On my way to watch, and we'll watch the replay after work. Okay, Tracy. So I just line it up right here with the black line, and it helps me get things straight. Now I just got this corner up a little too high, so there we go. All right, now let's get the machine over here. There is the code for the machine, 149653. It's on sale, 10% off right now. So if you've been thinking about getting one, you don't have one yet, you need one, you want one, whatever, it's your birthday, something's coming up where you can, somebody can buy it for you, hubby, child, best friend, um, it's on sale. So. 10%, that's like paying no tax or a little bit more than not, like not paying any tax. So I had to change my, my platforms. I have platform one and platform four. And then I'm just turning the crank and getting this to go through, um, through the machine. Oh, this folder is Layered Florals 3D folder. And um, I forget who it was that said it's her favorite folder. And I can see why. It's ab. Absolutely luscious. Look at that. And we have so many floral stamps, and it's um, different flowers on here, so it can work with anything. You guys agree? Thumbs up, hearts, if you like this folder. All right, so let's take platform number one and put it back. And now I'm going to do some cutting. I'm trying to put my papers all in one spot so I don't lose them. Now I'm going to take my second <clears throat> layer piece of cardstock and I need to line it up um, without the machine first so I make sure I get it straight. Okay, so let's, let's take the scrap paper I talked about and a four by five and a quarter piece of cardstock, my sponge brush, and my ink refill. I'm gonna take my ink pad. 
so that I have a palette to put my reinker in. See how I used it already? And I'm just gonna drop a few drops of reinker in there. And I suggest when you buy a stamp pad that either at the same time that you buy the stamp pad or shortly after you um, buy the reinker so that your stamp pad will last you for years. I'm using uh, a foam brush and you get a whole pack of them at the Dollar Tree instead of my sponges or my daubers because I'm gonna put ink direct to my die. And the dies are sharp because they cut out paper, right? They're not sharp enough where they cut your fingers or dangerous or anything, but they cut paper. So I didn't want, hi Nita, I didn't want to take the chance of ruining my um, daubers or my sponges. So I'm using this instead. Thank you so much for the box information. You're amazing. Who did that? Florence, you're a doll. Thank you, my dear. And I'm just putting ink right on this die. Um, I did notice though, that it's not ruining the sponge. And this is the second time I've done this. Oh, I see some paper in there. Um, so you could be safe using a sponge, I, I think. Looks like you could. So I just didn't know, and I'd rather be safe than sorry. So what I'm doing is getting a little bit of ink on the die, and it's going to be subtle on my work, but it's not just going to be stark white if you just ran this through without any ink on it, right? Okay. Now, I did this a while back. <laughs> And I, you know how honest I am. Look at my finger, too. Um, I um, can't remember what order I did this in, but I'm just going to do it how I think, cleaning off my fingers. Okay. And it won't dry quickly because it's on metal. And back to my paper. Remember, this is a layer piece, and I see two other pieces of cardstock in there that I didn't notice till now, but it'll be all right. And I'm just going to grab this and set it down, and I'm trying to get it right in the middle. Now, the ink is on the indentation part of the die, so I think if it moves around, you're still okay. And I'm going to take my tape and tape this down onto my cardstock. Then I'm going to take the frame and I'm going to lay it down right here like this and get more tape. I think it's time for me to buy more tape too. I um, this this is post-it note tape from Amazon. And I've had it for a long, long time, but I think it's getting low now. So I should probably order some more before I go to use it and it's all gone. Okay, I'm just trying to line this up evenly and taping that down to the, the frame, down to the paper as well. Okay, now I can move this safely without everything moving and bring my machine back. All right, so let's put our sandwich, what we call our sandwich, in between our bread. This is our meat and lettuce and tomatoes and stuff in between our two pieces of bread, the number three acrylics. That's how stampers describe this little mixture of uh, dyes and things to put through your cut and emboss machine. I'm gonna go backwards one time. Just be, hi, um, oh, need I said hi, but hi. Um, just to go back to get that ink on the paper and to get this cut out because it's kind of an uh, intricate piece. All right, we're going to carefully remove the tear and tape. See how my nails 
I'm not used to them, ladies. And I, you're probably laughing at me because that's not even long, but it's way long for me. And uh, I was talking to them the other day and I was like, if you start getting in my way, you gotta go. Even though it does make your hands look nice. Okay, I'm gonna punch this out first. So these are scraps for me, but see the green on the paper already? All right, and then I'm gonna push up on the larger one. Look, I love that. It's subtle, you still see a lot of the white but you still get the green in the leaves. Now for the frame, it's uh, a thin frame and I push down because it's hooked really, really snugly because there is, maybe you can hear it if I stop talking, listen to this. See, it's stitch, it's got stitching on it and the little stitching hugs the die really well. So just be careful when you take it off I would just do it carefully like this with a little bit of patience. It's not hard at all. It's just that it doesn't drop right out. Look at that. What do you guys think? Do you like that hint of green in there? Have you ever put um, ink on your folders before? So now I'll have to get those out later. And I am going to layer this right there like that. Look how gorgeous that looks. Let's bring the, hi Lori, let's bring the card back so you can see the progress, okay? All right, so now I'm going to take my liquid glue and I'm gonna leave the bottom free a little bit so I can stuff the lavender in there. Oh, I'm so glad you like it. Um, hi, Marsha. So let's do the top and we're gonna squeeze lightly and the frame is thick enough where it's pretty easy to get glue on there. I'm gonna stop at the bottom so I can stuff my lavender in there and go all the way around. Okay. I'm trying to grab where I don't have glue so I don't get glue on my fingers but I keep baby wipes right here by my desk, so if I do, which I just did, I can clean my hands off. Thanks, Carol. All right, cleaning off my hands again. Now look at the difference between this card so far and the finished card. You see a little bit more green around the edges. So what I did was I took that same brush that already has ink on it and just went around softly and got more ink. This is called sponging on the edges. Now how I got ink on this finger is I probably used this side and then this time I used this side and I was pressing so if you don't do that, you, you won't get ink on your fingers. Okay. So do you guys like to sponge? Sponging is not my favorite technique, but I, and I do it rarely, but I was thinking that, um, that this card needed sponging. Okay, so which one was my bottom here? I think it was this side. Yeah, this side, okay. All right, so now let's go to our lavender. No, let's not go to our lavender. Let's go to our ribbon. So I'm go I was thinking, should I go to my ribbon or my lavender? I should go to my lavender. Okay, so let me grab, what did I do? Three, four, five, five pieces of lavender. Three, four, five, remember odd numbers. Oh, I wish you guys could smell this. And I can tell right off the get-go, hi, Patty, 
that these are going to be way too long, right? And I can also tell right off the get-go that I want some of the little leaves down here in my project. So I am going to cut with my snip and not my ribbon scissors, but my regular scissors right here like this. And then I'm going to bring back some of the leaves. Mm. I have some spray. I love to spray my sheets and I'm gonna add it just like that because I like the look of the leaves a lot. So just cut them down and then we'll do the stuffing in a minute. I'm gonna leave the, the rest of them right here by my desk in case I need more. And all you have to do, where did you get the lavender? Oh, I bought some lavender. My girlfriend and her husband gave me this lavender. Um, she saw my, she saw that I was pressing flowers and they have a lavender plant in their front yard. And, um, they told me all about it, how it's full sun, little water, and um, they picked some and brought it to me. So I pressed it about two weeks ago, and um, then I decided, well, heck, I need, I can't be bugging Rako and Dave all the time, so I need to buy some plants myself. And so I went to Home Depot, and they have tons of it. Now... It's, see how I left the bottom open so it would stick out? So then I could trim it once I know that I have them in the right spots. Ladies, this is therapy. This, I love doing this with the real flowers. But like I said, we have a stamp set that you could do the same thing with. How do you press the flowers? So you get your flower, you cut your flowers. And then I have a press. I got my daughter bought it for me for my birthday. Um, she bought it on Amazon. And it comes with layers of paper and cardboard, pressing paper and cardboard. And it screws down tightly. And, you, and I just put layers and layers of um, flowers into the press. And then I screw it down tight. And um, <clears throat> you, leave, you have to leave them in for about a week or 10, no, not... <clears throat> excuse me, not just a week. You have to leave them in between 10 days and two weeks. Get all the moisture out of the flowers. And they look as delicate as heck, don't they? And they're not. They're, they're very sturdy. I was really surprised. Um, but if you don't have a press, a lot of people just use a heavy book. And they put them in there and just do it that way. You're welcome. But the, the presses are on Amazon and there's different sizes. So. I just go out in my yard and I pick flowers and then I put them in my press, crank it down tight <clears throat> and then I try to forget about it because I'm a person that likes, you know, when you're baking, you like to, you like to check and see if it's browning or check to see if it's almost done or so I try to forget about my flowers pressing. In fact, I forgot about my lavenders till the other day and I jumped up and Ken goes, what's wrong? I said, I want to check my flowers. I think they're, they should be done. And he's all, oh my gosh. So look at that, ladies. Look. Hi, Gail. Welcome. That simple. You could put a, a cutout sentiment or you could stamp a sentiment, sentiment and fussy cut it out and put it across here. It'd be gorgeous. I like to leave my cards kind of um, without a sentiment on the front a lot just because sometimes we don't know what we're going to use it for. And then when I decide what I'm using it for, I, um, I can put a sentiment. Oh, is it your favorite scent? Yeah, I can understand why. So now I just put a um, mini glue dot at the back of the gold ribbon. 
and I'm going to bring this around and stick it down and then bring it across, cut it a little longer than my project, wasn't using my ribbon scissors, see the difference? And so, so what is the difference? They look exactly the same, because they are. But when these came, um, when I ordered these years and years and years ago, I used them on paper, and then I put ribbon around these and only use them on ribbon. And so they stay sharp, always. So we're just gonna wrap that around. Now, if you don't wanna use all this ribbon on your card, you can stop just at the bottom like this and it'll still be really pretty. But I just think this card is like beyond special. A wedding card, a sympathy card, um, a card where you want someone to know how you're feeling about them right at this moment, right when they receive it. I think um, a very heartfelt card. So I dressed it up with going all the way around the ribbon just to make it extra special. Now I put the top and the bottom on first. Got a little mini glue dot on my finger, so I'm gonna use that next. And then I'm coming over to the sides. And that is because you, I wanted it to look like a frame where it overlaps on the corners nicely. Okay. So we're just gonna do this all the way around. And I'm telling you, you put on a little bit of music, elevator music, Christian music, Celt I love Celtic music. Um, and go in your space and create It's just a way I like to spend my time. And then you create something that's gonna really warm the heart of another person. And that's the whole point, correct? Okay, I hope if you're watching, you're commenting because if you are, your name will go in a drawing to possibly win this card. I'd be happy to mail it to you whether you're on Facebook Live or YouTube replay, doesn't matter. I select the winner the morning before I go on or the night before I go on. So everybody has a chance to comment. Okay, let me move all this product away from you so you can see how pretty this is. Okay. So this is popping up. We know how to fix that, right? Lavender does smell so good. And if you use your stamp set, you're gonna roll it. If you use your stamp set to do this, get some lavender mist and spray your card. Come back Sunday, I have a 3D item with this, um, with the Mediterranean Blooms and I'm using um, different dyes. I'm still using this frame and I'm using the designer series paper and it's a 3D item and it's a very, very beautiful, unique, very inexpensive gift that you can give out to, you know, when you go to lunch with, some, with a friend or you have sisters or cousins or you're gathering with a few ladies that, that of course you love because you're gathering with them that you can give. Um, and I'll share all that on Sunday with you. So there you go. Now we have our card base. My, oh my, oh my. <sighs> the folder underneath here, can you see that in the window? So pretty. So I'm just gonna put liquid glue around the layer piece. 
And honestly, because I'm teaching and talking so much, this card is taking longer. But for me, just to slap this together takes no time at all. It's maybe a 10, 12 minute card. And if you know you love this card so much or any card, um, oh, <laughs> thank you. Um, if you know you love a card so much, then cut out all the frames. Do that part. Have them stacked on the side. Use those cases that we just talked about and keep them stored for yourself so you can um, make another card quickly because the, the die cutting is done for you already. Let's go back to the boxes. Florence gave you the numbers. We're going to take another piece. Got some pearls on there. And then we're gonna go to the Highland Heather. Hi, Jean, welcome. And the stamps in the stamp set. All the love, yeah. All the love. We're sending all the love with this card. The love of lavender, the love of nature, the creations of God, the love we have for each other, whichever way you want to read that. And then these cute little diamonds. You can place them wherever you'd like on the inside of the card. Just a little dazzle there. Flip that around. Again, add your glue. I am a Tombow glue gal. People ask me why. And I've mentioned it before, but I've been seeing a lot of new names. So I want to make sure you know, this is this glue. Hey, I should put these on my nails. <laughs> this glue um, is very, very strong. It's one of the most um, inexpensive uh, adhesives in the catalog. It lasts forever. It's, um, you can move it, so if you get something crooked, it's okay because it's, you, can, you can move the glue around, and so it gives you room for error. Okay, now, if you let it dry before you put it to the paper completely, it's like Post-it note too. All right, so here we go. There they are, my creation for Wednesdays live. Lavender mixed with Mediterranean sweet, collection sweet, on page, what did I tell you, page 36 of the catalog? That die is to die for, no pun intended. Page 35, right here. This is the die I used, and then this is the frame. So it cuts out just beautifully. And I will share with you other gorgeous things I've made with it for my class, all the ladies that are coming on the 28th at 10. All right, ladies, I've got to go. Um, I've got 53 cream puffs I have to fill, and then I'm on, a way, on my way to a celebration of life for my cousin. And um, so I'm on a schedule, but I'm looking to see if there's any questions. If there is not... Then have a good week, and we'll see you on Sunday. Bye-bye.